Item number, SCP-697. Object class, Euclid. Special containment procedures. All instances of SCP-697 are kept in storage section V of Site-18. The area is 40 feet below ground level and lined with steel, ensuring only authorized personnel may enter. All unauthorized persons attempting to gain access are terminated on site. Each instance of SCP-697 is sealed in a depressurized 4-inch thick titanium container to avoid accidental activation. Removal from the containers is restricted to three instances at a time for Level 4 access-approved experiments only. Under no circumstances are any instances of SCP-697 to leave Site-18. Should accidental spills occur at any point, Site-18 is to be evacuated and the area affected incinerated. Large-scale spills shall lead to total abandonment of the site and a quarantine of the surrounding area for 8 square kilometers. Further information pertaining to spilling of SCP-697 outside of Site-18 is located in Document 697 Theta. Description SCP-697 consists of the contents of 100 toxic chemical containment drums, consistent with those used by Duzlo AS for waste disposal. All are in either perfect or near-perfect condition, and three have yet to be breached by the Foundation or other persons. Each drum is filled to the brim with an as-yet unidentified chemical. When exposed to any substance other than the drums, SCP-697 triggers a highly complex chemical process that converts most forms of solid matter around it into fully formed plant-like organisms within seconds of contact, effectively terraforming the area immediately surrounding it. Existing multicellular life is quickly broken down into individual cells, which are then converted into further instances of the plant-like organism. It is currently unknown precisely how non-living matter is altered, but the process appears to involve initial conversion into single-celled life forms, which then agglomerate with anomalous speed into the plants, tissues, and organs. The plants created by SCP-697 bear no significant biological resemblance to any known species, though their physical appearance has been described as normal. They possess a physiology unlike any other known organism. They do not undergo photosynthesis, nor do they rely on nitrogen or carbon dioxide. Their primary waste product is an argon and cobalt-based gas. The source of these elements, neither of which is present in sufficient quantities in any common Earth environment, is unknown, as is the chemical basis for the plant's metabolism, which runs at approximately six times the speed of any Terran plant. As of this writing, the only viable method of destruction is combined incineration and neon gas saturation. Though initial contact with the plants is not fatal, long-term exposure has proven extremely hazardous to terrestrial animals. Inhalation of the waste gases gradually inhibits cardiopulmonary function, while contact with the neurotoxic leaves or flowers results in sudden spreading extreme numbness, with nervous system and respiratory failure occurring soon after. The average time from initial exposure to death is 13 hours. No treatment for either effect has been developed. In addition to creating new life forms, SCP-697 is apparently capable of self-replication. The effects of a spill invariably spread far beyond the initial area coated in the substance. Prior to the ban on off-site testing, the observed range extended out to 6 kilometers. Incineration plus neon flooding, as detailed above, are also effective in halting the spread of the chemicals. Addendum 697001. Six instances of SCP-697 were initially discovered off the coast of California in the spring of 2000. Fortunately, no spills had occurred at the time, though the incident prompted mass investigation of Duzlo AS's waste disposal practices, drawing Foundation attention. Over a period of six months, 50 of the drums currently in containment were discovered with the rest gradually located over an extended period of time. The current average discovery rate of drums containing SCP-697 is one every three weeks. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-696, Abyssal Typewriter, right now.
or for the complete course, watch this playlist.